weak and hungry after traveling for more than a month. This is the second group of Rohingya refugees to land in Indonesia's northern Aceh province in recent days. On Wednesday, local fishermen spotted a boat that landed on the beach. After a further investigation, we found out that they are Rohingya refugees. But there isn't much to go around. The local government in Bluka Tabai village is housing the refugees in a makeshift hall while they wait for food, water and medicine. First of all, on behalf of UNHCR, I would like to give my highest appreciation to the local government of Aceh for allowing these refugees to land in North Aceh district. Next, we'll coordinate what we are going to do. Many of these people started their journeys in refugee camps in Bangladesh, where they've lived since August 2017. That's when Myanmar's military began a campaign of what the UN called textbook ethnic cleansing to force the mainly Muslim Rohingya out of Western Rakhine state. It's difficult to survive in Bangladesh's refugee camps. I can't study there, our brothers can't get married there. It's difficult to arrange a marriage for our sisters. The refugees say they want to start new lives in Malaysia. But those who survived the long journey to get there face detention. Barbara Angopa, Al Jazeera.